Because in whatever time we're there, on our location is some mad men, you know, take up residence. You know what I mean? But hey, just to show you the, the um the two extreme because we as the men of the Lord, the teachers of the Heavenly Father, the Lord Yahweh you know what I mean? We ought to basically uh, as one extreme and when the Heavenly Father moves, the Heavenly Father put another extreme. So hey, the whole situation is is is, is spiritual. We look at all things spiritually, man. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, who our people choose to be, their teachers, you know what I mean, or whatsoever advisor, you know what I mean, them prophet, you know what I mean? It's symbol it's symbolic of, of, of those men. Because those men are actually mad men. You know what I mean? So the Lord give them mad men to, to be their teachers, man. You know what I mean? Not to say the one on the corners, but you know, that's to show you. You know, the transition, man. Yeah, because when you want to be a politician, um, the teachers in the school, you know what I mean, your community leader, whosoever, you, you get the source of information from media whatsoever. You know what I mean? They are just feeding you with strong drink. Madness, man. Because none of them cannot um, give you um, any form of wisdom in regards to your existence. You know what I mean? Here on the earth, man. So, um, what the mic are This is Micah 2 verse 11. If any man walk in the spirit right. and falsehood right. and lie, say, I will pro prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. Right. He shall even be the prophet of his people. Um, yesterday, I was working um, at the police station in the town. Prime Minister, you know, Mr. Andrew Willis, as you would like, let's go, call him. But anyway, he was in the town yesterday, and he, uh, when you look, you can't find a place to walk yesterday. Vehicle could pass. You know, vehicle yeah. could pass. You know what I mean? The amount of people come out, man. You know, you'll never see them come out. You know, you come listen to the word from the men of the Lord that way, man. See? So these men, basically, that these people choose, yeah, the Lord give you that. You know what I mean? You got to be a father. The Lord give you these men, you got to be a father. Because you have no love for the truth. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, you know, a lot of hate that people give us is not because of our personality. We learned that over the couple of months, you know, when being out there on the street, I <laughs> um, learned that you have people deal with you. But, um, good. People rate you and respect you, you know, based off of your personal thing. You know what I mean? When you come out to the world, everybody, you know, you know, man, when you look a man disappear and in Ghana, you, <laughs> you see, the same thing going to come out to the world. You know, so people have no love for the scriptures, man. You know what I mean? No love, no true love for the law. You know what I mean? That's about the laws of the law, so living the Father. They are about adultery and all different wickedness. And anybody who helps perpetuate the type of behavior that the people that put them cling to men. So the Lord give you those people who are stumbling men. See? Um, give me an um, I shall see that. Alright, we've been standing, we've been standing on the corners worldwide for the past couple of years, bringing out this truth. Our people us, you know? Hey like nothing you know what I mean so the Lord keep keep making the transition moving us from the corners man we're in the sight for, for, for numerous amount of years we are 
I was in the town before that money here. You know what I mean? And now we are off from the town right now. And soon we will not see it anymore. You know what I mean? Because believe it or not, when you're looking at us, you're looking at word that is to deliver you, man. Yeah, because I'm going to come out to bring out, to bring out the true meaning of the word, man. Isaiah 30 verse 20 And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity right. And the water of affliction right. Yet shall not thy teachers Be removed into a corner anymore Right, so the Lord set us up as teachers But you, that, that's, that, that's not even here or there with you people We don't have a college degree You know what I mean um, Doing this thing We don't have um, some people from seminary school To say, oh look, we are bishop This or pastor This or the faith so, we don't hear idea with you people, you know, but Lord tell you the type of, uh, the type of um, men you should look for when you must send his teachers, men, or his prophets, men. you know what I mean? The scripture give you a guideline, but you rather follow the wolf, you know, one can carry himself, you know, you know, we have to beat you up, right? He said, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, All right. and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way walking in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left hand. Right. And that become nagging in the ears of Jacob. You know what I mean? It's like, you make them uncomfortable. When you speak to them, you make, make them feel uncomfortable, because it basically, the word basically, um, I, try, I try to push them from the path, you know, where they go off of them lustful heart. You know what I mean? What do you want to say now? You know? Right. Jake now have a time for that, right now. Right. Yeah, this, this can't make them make money, yeah. right now. They have things to go do here, they have to go make money. You know, they have girls, they have to go They need to buy and die. You know, all the power we this. You know? They have to continue to go and do it. Right. Same Isaiah 30, jump up to verse 8. So no go. Write it in a book, write right. it in a table, and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come and whatever that this is a rebellious people, right. lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, right. which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, right. but speak unto us smooth things, right. prophesy seed. Right, and hey, and she don't want to hear the thing the right way, straight up, point blank. They want to hear it from an emotional standpoint, a point. We basically them feel comfortable on themselves, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, I'm sure that Jake don't want you to write here. You have a, you have a, a, um, a previous um, killing that take place out here. You know what I mean? A past, um, a past couple of days now. circumstances you know and um the sentiment of the people that like, um she shouldn't die you know what i mean not judging the thing spiritually you know what i mean because there's nobody that can die if the heavenly father does not sanction it no the, the thing we need to know you need to know why the lord sanctioned such thing because here we have a couple of advice to that that allegedly said that look she was all over the place with all type of man. Women, you know what I mean? Allegedly, we don't know. Yeah, but for whatsoever reason the Heavenly Father see. And you see that look, she deserved death for whatsoever she was doing. And that's what the Lord do. The Lord send them send down that, that spirit, you know what I mean, to, to bring forth that judgment. And whosoever even responsible for doing so. You know what I mean? To um, facilitate, uh, facilitate the spirit that the Lord sent down, it's going to be judged accordingly. Also, you know what I mean? But people don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear say, oh, when when um you get put to death under certain circumstances, you know what I mean? Um, it's based off of your wickedness that caused that upon you. Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 33 verse 17. Uh, Yet the children of thy people say, right. the way of the Lord is not equal. Right. But as for, as for them, their way is not equal. Right, so the Lord say, oh look, your way is not equal. You know what I mean? Your way is not equal because you cannot judge the thing 
from the spiritual um, aspect of the thing. You know, the other day, um, Jenny Jenny, Jenny Jenny basically um, totally judging the whole thing concerning the, the homosexual thing from my emotional standpoint. Oh, homosexual is one of the nicest people, nicest people you should ever meet up in. So she I wonder know what God has got to do with them after them come back into the third life. Or the second life, I mean, it's like, it's like you know, oh, third life. You know? You know? What are going to happen to them if the Lord will get, just get rid of them all together? Look, man. Um, point one. You know? Whatsoever loss a man have, you know what I mean? Whatsoever thing a man carry out in his body, see? Does not carry on, you know what I mean? With the spirit, man. You know what I mean? If he's a, if, 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 if he's, if, if a man is a faggot in this life and the kingdom come and after the most I judge that person the next body that the person receiving not going to lose half of being a fish a fish man a <laughs> you know, straight up faggot you know you too and then, you know but anyway you know what I mean so whatsoever attributes wicked attributes seeing is associated with um with the flesh that they dwell in now you're not carrying on that into the kingdom man you're going to be judged accordingly and then the Lord is gonna give you a new body, a new art. You know what I mean? But hey, you got to, you got to, you got to go through the the, 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 the um, specified judgment. Yeah, the scripture say, "Oh, there's a sin unto death." You know what I mean? So you have sin. I want to put somebody in the first story. That's fine. I want brother. Yeah. First Corinthians 5 um, 1 it is, it is it is it is reported it is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. What is fornication? You're sleeping with the next man woman. You know what I mean? Sleeping with the next man woman, which is adultery. Or you know what I mean? A woman sleeping with a with a, a woman. With a woman, I with an animal, and you see him go see a man. Any sexual immorality, man. It's fornication, man. We are not like Christians um, trying to bend fornication to be um, looking at a woman and say, oh that girl I look good enough when I have sex. Yeah, you know, sex before marriage, man. You know what I mean? You know, we, we basically bring out know, the, the, the proper uh, meaning of the word. Even this text basically finds out the proper meaning of the word. But anyway, it said it's reported um, commonly that there is fornication among you. Have you that? And such fornication as is not so much name as name among the Gentiles, Gentiles that one should have, have his father's wife. Right, so that one should have his what? His father's wife. Which is what? Adultery. Because that woman okay. married to somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it means, it, means, it, means it, it, it never said his mother. It says his father's wife. So, 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 you know, stepmother. Yeah, stepmother. Uh, yeah, but that is fornication, you know, which is also adultery. In the lie written in the son cover your father naked. Yes, fun, fun. You know, so this was a case of, of a person basically going after. A specific type of a lust, man. You know what I mean? And this is the, uh, the conclusion of the matter now the brother will read. Go on, brother. And verse 2 says, And ye are purified, no, uh, so, so like and ye are puffed up, and have put, and have not rather mourned that ye that are done this deed might be taken away from among you. Right. Oh. See? Our man is, is um, get taken away from among you, you know? Yeah, meaning he should be what? Put to death. Yeah, because what, what, he's, what he's saying here is going back to the law, you know? That's what he's going back to. He's going back to the law where when a man commits adultery, so what, the sin, um, the, the, um, the punishment for adultery is what? Death. Death, you know what I mean? But this is Israel. Back in the time, this was, was, was the custom among Israel. You know what I mean? I'm on, I say, or the Messiah, they said, um, anybody who don't believe in sin, God's first you know what I mean? And all that, they would bring up the argument about, hey, 
This is what Paul said. Paul said, yo, you should, you should rather mourn. You know what I mean? And, and, and you go further, explain it. Go on, brother. Um, verse 3 says, For I, for I verily, um, for I verily as absent in body, but present in spirit, have judged already right. as though I were present um, concerning him that art so done is deep. Right. It says, in the name of our Lord, Yahawashaya Mashayak, when when he are gathered together, right, and my spirit with with the power of our Lord, Yahawashaya Mashayak, to deliver to deliver such and one and to Satan right. for the destruction of the flesh that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord and the one way, one way destroy the flesh man you know what I mean so, so, so Paul was 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 you know condemning that flesh there you know what I mean that the, um, that the spirit may be saved when when the, the day of the Lord right so, so yeah. 